Hi and hello and thank you so much for tuning in and if you are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Preeti Rao and I am both a real estate and a mortgage broker for close to 20 years. You know, I was born in India and growing up all I saw was people actually buying land and then constructing their own dream home on it. When I came here, I never saw that happen. All I saw was pre-constructed cookie cutter homes and I always wondered why do banks not support individuals who want to build their own home till I got into mortgages. So I thought Hmm. Let's make a quick video and explain some very quick facts and also answer the most frequently asked question because this thought is always there in everyone's mind. But first, you know the drill. Make sure to hit like, share, subscribe and the bell icon. It gets me motivated to keep you up to date with everything real estate. So the five main points that you need to understand is one, there are very few lenders who will give you a land loan. Second, lenders want building plans in hand before they even consider looking at the deal. Number three, it's hard to get mortgage brokers who will do the deal or a bank mortgage specialist excited about helping you because lenders do not typically pay commissions to their specialists or to the brokers. Number four, a land loan requires a very big down payment as opposed to what you might be used to on a house mortgage. And number five, land loans are expensive expensive to buy and hold. So I'm going to jump straight into the frequently asked question. By far the number one question I get asked, what is the down payment? Honestly, I have no idea. It will all depend on where you are and what you are buying and how many acres and what's on the land. Are there services? Is there power? Is there hydro? Is there gas? Is there water? Are there any bushes around or are they just cows? The answer is very difficult to provide because it all depends on the services on the property, what's its location in terms of proximity to the city, how soon is it going to be developed. So default answer is always going to be 50% down payment for most of the country. Now if you have a building plan in your hand, which is kind of very difficult to have if you don't own the land in the first place, you can get in with as little as 25% down. So one of the things I try to say to people when you're talking about getting a land loan is what's the objective that you're trying to achieve? Is it that you wanted to buy the land and hold on to it? Is that what you want to do? Or do you want to build something right away? If you're going to build your own property, you have to have a certain amount of capability as the borrower as it relates to your income and your credit and your available down payment. And those capabilities are going to overlap with all the lending programs. The second question that I get asked a lot is why is the down payment requirement so high? The short answer is lenders are all about risk and managing risk and lending money on vacant land is risky. Lenders always have to ask the question, if you fail to pay the mortgage and they have to foreclose and sell the land, how quickly can they sell it to get all their money back? There are a lot of things that can change the value of raw land, especially on a buy and hold project. And that's why the lenders who will give you the land loan will try to give you an incentive to develop the land quickly. Because some of the things that can happen is you can have zoning changes, you can have negative neighbor activity, sometimes next to your land which decreases its value. There could be an economic activity either up or down. So lenders protect themselves by having you have more skin in the game. And that is in form of a much bigger down payment. The third question I get is what is the typical term of the land loan? The best part of these loans are they are open, meaning that they can be repaid at any time without any penalty. And number two, the interest rates are around prime plus 2%. So essentially the land alone right now is double what you could get for an existing land with the house on it. See, lenders always want to know your objective to buying the land. Are you buying to just hold on to it or are you going to build something on it? Is your objective simply, I want to live in the country or I want to live by the lake? 
So understanding your objective and understanding your financial situation helps a broker like me to frame things correctly for you so you can qualify. Regarding vacant land loans, the main concern is can you even get a mortgage under the current mortgage rules? And those rules have changed a lot in these last few years. What you can borrow will be dictated by your income, your credit, your assets and your liabilities. And you may find that you don't have any choice, but maybe you can buy a house. So before you go jumping into buying that land, you want to find that sweet spot between what lenders can give you and what your own financial situation dictates. And for that, it's very, very imperative that you speak to a knowledgeable mortgage broker. Once again, my name is Preeti Rao and my contact information is in the description box below. Make sure to hit like, share, subscribe and that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to call me because I hold the key that opens the door to your dream home.